These are two of the most expensive boxes that I've ever received from a viewer. Let's crack them open. So I've talked a lot about uh, strategies for um, reselling in a recession, um, for reselling when you know time is very, very limited, when you have a lot of inventory already, uh, how do you kind of adjust your buying strategy with all of those things in mind? This is one of the adjustments that I've been making recently. I'm focusing on those things that we can move quickly that are high value per item average. And this meets those standards. So this is a beautiful collection, about 50 items. Came from the United Kingdom, <gasps> across the pond. Down under. All the way. Hey. Two. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been very excited to receive these. Um, because it is a super high-end collection, and I guess there's like t-shirts and stuff in here. I don't even know if those were part of it. You might have thrown those in. Mm. Um, very well packed. It was all wrapped in this. Two boxes put together. But here we are. I'm getting them unboxed. So that's kind of my strategy with the with the point that we're at in business. Like there's there's five levels to sourcing, roughly five levels to sourcing, and we can like break that down um, maybe in the description. But to quickly go over them. Level one, garage sales, thrift stores locally, maybe capital's an issue, so you gotta get stuff for really low and sell it for a good prof profit to start to make your way up to level two, which is local pawn shops, um, local retail arbitrage, that type of thing, when capital becomes less of an issue, but there's still pretty hard caps and limits to what you can do with those types of sourcing. You can do great and you can be content with that, uh, but level three, which is where I think it really starts to get interesting and scalable is um, local collection buying and uh, maybe local game store buyouts. So seeking those things out, buying on a large scale, uh, that's where my business got to probably about two years ago. And that really started to ramp things up. That's what enabled me to start hiring. Uh, so Brother Dave came in like two years ago, Skyler a year ago, um, took Brother Dave's spot and has taken off since then. And now El Pal's here. Matt's here repairing stuff because we've gotten to level four and five of sourcing. And that's level four, I consider, and these could be interchangeable. Level four is sourcing online. So like eBay, um, when there's sales for GameStop or whatever, it really uh, is time sensitive. So you can get a lot done in a short amount of time without leaving your house. So you can really scale that if you find the right stuff. And I've done a little bit of that, um, but level five, is this type of thing where collections or uh, big buyouts come to your doorstep without even seeking them. And I am blessed and thankful to have that. Uh, part of the YouTube uh, growth, that's come with that. And I didn't even intend for that to happen. So I'm really thankful for viewers that reach out, sell me collections. I buy fair and uh, with integrity and, and have done it for a long time. So now they're coming pretty consistently. So. What level are you at with sourcing? I'm curious. And uh, what level do you want to get to? Each business model is different. Uh, I really like the level five of sourcing where stuff comes to me, especially stuff of this magnitude. Oh, baby. Sweet mercy. We haven't seen any of this. Mm -mm. This is this is good stuff, guys. This is good stuff. Ready for it? They're bubble wrap. Everybody gather around. gather around. Gather around, gather around. Uh, that's a uh, link to the past. Ooh. Wow. Complete in box for Super Nintendo. Uh, we'll get all them up, uh, out of the bubble wrap, but what Young Merlin. That game? Young Merlin. Yeah, I've never even heard of that. There's a, there's a real heavy. Breath of Fire 2. Oh. Hold up. Let's, let's cut it and I'll get them all uh, unboxed so that we can fully appreciate. Okay. I would just like to thank this, uh, this seller personally look at just this this packaging is so nice it's fabulous we've received packages that are completely and utterly this is next <laughs> level destroyed man. this this is this is like al, al pal approved right here yes yes okay. got his labels on them and everything wow <laughs> no sneak peeks these are the okay, good okay okay sorry ones. sorry okay so we have like a list there's your list, this, sir. This is, this is the way to do it. This is, he's setting the example for how these deals should go down. A tier trade will pay up. Uh, a full a full list of everything that's inside. 
I guess he probably literally had to have this because it's uh, international customs and all oh, that. Okay. Uh, but that's really nice. I've got everything out of the bubble wrap. This is uh, Something this, bubble wrap. this stuff is beautiful. We're just gonna we're gonna fire away with some of the highest end SNES games you can find. Secret of Mana. Oh. Heavy. RPG. Can you like say like the approximate value as you? Boy, I don't know. I don't come know. Up with Maybe. stuff or should we have Alpal <laughs> looking it up? Good price charting, I guess. <clears throat> but uh, I would guess it's around 200, 250. That would be my guess. Um, <clears throat> Paladin's Quest. Another Square Enix game. Okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know what that's worth. 150, maybe? Final Fantasy 2, probably 200 ish uh, in this condition. Mm -hmm. Final Fantasy 3, probably 250. Secret of Man is 200. Okay. Uh, Lufia 2. How about that one, Al Pal? That is in great condition. That's a big one. It's a Taito game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And it's the second one, which is better. Uh, why Why is... 313. 313. Complete. So we got $1,000 on the table. Has anyone else seen the and price charting me. zombies that you can shoot right now? There's they have, price they have charting a zombies? Game where zombies will go across the screen and get to shoot them. <laughs> and it gives you points. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. How about Soul Blazer, Al Pal? Soul Blazers is a good one to look for. Every single game in here. Make death. Remake. I love the box art. You guys ready for this one? You ready for this one? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, yeah. I know that one's good. Uh, Soul yeah, Blazers 288. 288 on Soul Blazer. Chrono Trigger. All right, let's take price charting predictions. 800. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go 780. <laughs> Matt. 790. <laughs> <laughs> I can't guess. I already saw it, but uh, 761. Seven. We all lost. See, look at <laughs> the zombie before I had to shoot him. him. Oh, he disappeared. Oh. Oh, man. What about the Seventh Saga? They're almost all Square Enix. This must have been a one collection here. I don't know if they were his originally because they're NTSC games and he's in Europe. It's Enix. Square. It's pronounced Square, Square, Square Enix. Enix. Square different companies and just like, yes they did thank you matt yeah. lagoon is a good one i don't know that one's like decent okay wow. skylar don't miss it don't miss it zombie shoot zombie him. kill him Got so him. everyone you shoot and you get a little score he scores 21 yeah. let's go hey good job man thanks man hey al pal i don't think any of us have heard of this one spike mcfang i've never heard of that one <laughs> The Twisted Tales of the, This is incredibly rare. Is it really? Incredibly rare. Like more than Chrono Trigger? Like you on a scale of one to Chrono Trigger? Definitely more rare. I already what, saw that. What's your guess? Um, I can't guess. I, I, think I, I think it's like 700 bucks. 688. Wow. But more rare than Chrono Trigger? Potentially? You, 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 <laughs> your, your definition of the word rare well, is... not expensive. Confused here. Yes. Yeah. So, yes, more rare than Chrono Trigger. But Chrono not Trigger is pretty common. Yeah. So, I mean, it's common-ish. It's a popular game that is iconic and therefore has value. This one has value because it is incredibly rare. Um, yeah, look at it. you get to play especially a, completed box. A vampire, a clove of garlic, and a, a it looks like it Easter could be really Island fun. Head. <laughs> yeah, like it, it could be fun. I, I've never played it, but let me know if you have Dino City. I feel like I don't think that has that much value, but it's, you don't see that. On him. Yeah, <laughs> that's Some something. Clean chompers, homie. That is something. <laughs> <laughs> Dino wow. City. Dinosity, if you want it to be one word. Wow, that's. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Illusion of Gaia? That's probably 150. I we sold <gasps> that recently. Oh, it's a repro box. It's a repro box, but it does have an authentic cartridge. So, Earthbound. Pushing 400, 400 these days. $400 cartridge. cartridge. Very fun game. I have played it, I have beat it. And you have had it. I do have right had it. loses 300. So yeah, price charting a lot of the times um, can be a little low on some games, sometimes a little high. Uh, condition factors in, of course. Secret of Evermore is a good one. Yeah, that one's Square Soft. So it goes uh, Secret of. I'm not sure which one's first. Secret of Illusion or Evermore. Secret of Mana, then Evermore, then Illusion of Gaia. Correct. Oh, Maybe. This is uh, like a a new make. Now that's down under. Secret of Evermore was 150. That one won't be on price charting. It's, it's like a new... Collector Vision Games. Yeah, it's like a new uh, fan-made thing. Huh. Uh, I don't know what that's worth. Super Mario All-Stars. 
plastic. I think, yeah, everything pretty much is complete. Uh, Tetris 2, can't go wrong. Lufia. Lufia is a good one. That's probably a couple hundred bucks. Bless you. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> we'll go with it. Dragon View. Uh, cut up box inside of a collector's case. Let's see if that has a manual. It does. So like partially complete. But <laughs> it's unfortunate that like rental stores and stuff did that. Here's a big one. Mario RPG. Oh That's yeah. Complete with yeah. manual. Yeah, like, that one's almost. That one's two seventy five. Two seventy five on Lufia. Yeah. Wow, this one's Mario RPG is probably yeah like in this condition. <laughs> it's probably pretty easily four hundred. This is fabulous. The condition on this Three box. Twelve on price yeah, it's probably okay. it's probably more like four hundred. One, one just sold for four ninety. So. Okay. Five hundred. Yeah. yeah like, condition is condition the is end huge. all. And Which probably the biggest game of the batch. Really? Harvest oh, Moon. What? The original Harvest Moon didn't sell well, and is very good. <laughs> it's Holy the it's like the Little Samson of uh, <laughs> SNES, not quite, but what do you got? Eight ninety three. Eight ninety three. One just sold for. There's a couple that just sold for over a thousand. Wow. Which I feel like this is probably in that range. It's not perfect, but it is very nice, and it is. Complete. It'll probably sit for a bit too. So that's the other mm -hmm. trade off with yep. buying high end stuff. It will sit for longer. It's a lot of capital to tie up. Ooh. I don't think I have this one. What is it? It's a not for resale cartridge. <gasps> Banjo Tooie. Ooh. So you mm -hmm. got to keep that, right? Probably, yep. I have Pokemon Stadium 1, and that's it for not for resale. So there, there's not that that's many. Cool. There's maybe like. 15 on the N64, 10 or 15, somewhere in there. The gray cart of Majora's Mask is the one that's like 10 grand. It's like a $160 cart. $160 cartridge. $160 cartridge there, roughly. Check out these cases, guys. Ooh. I've never seen these. America, step it up. How do you, how do you, look at that. Look. And it, it, Push it, the it disc. This won't fall out when it's inside there. Yeah, shake it. Give it a shake. Go ahead. That's so sweet. Gosh, we need that. And they're like not, they're not um, plastic that'll break. Yeah, what's the... McFarland's Evil Prophecy. One of these had a sticker on them, I think, when I was quickly going through them. Just getting them unbubbled. Just said the brand. Oh, okay. I'll have to look cases. it up. NBA Street. Let's see. These are just like... Oh, wait, no. It says Ooh, it Master on... Master Rancher 4. That's a good one. Nice. It says it on here. East Limb Case. Go to ejector.de. Is that for Denmark? And there's people in Denmark. <laughs> They're awesome. Dead Cocoon. Samurai Warriors. So, bunch of PS2 discs here. I know there's still a couple heavies to go in this other box. Grandia 3. I don't even know if these were like on the. Uh... Ooh. So, uh, he, he shared the. Um, well, he went above and beyond. He had pictures of everything. He had every cartridge unscrewed, so they were board picks. Uh, he had a price charting link that he shared with me on Instagram. So That's crazy. the uh, above and beyond model for how to make a collection by happen quickly right there. Here's a big one, Devil Survivor 2 for DS, and that is sealed. It's an Atlas game. Atlas is always a good one to look for. Taito is always a good one to look for. Uh, working designs, Enix, we can never go wrong, RPGs, <laughs> RPGs on every system, guys. If you don't know that, take note. Uh, they're always worth money and often good. What's that? What is that one? This is Brain Lord. What was this Brain one? Brain Lord. Devil, <laughs> Devil Survivor 2. Sealed, it says around 70. Around 70 bucks. Brain Lord, I would guess, is like 150. Okay. But we'll have Alpel. 175. 175. Chuck Rock, I would guess like 30. So. What system okay, is this well. one really good on? Chuck sure. Rock. Really valuable on? Y yes. Sorry. Maybe one of the Sega systems? Or is it Chuck Rock 2? 52. Or is it the first one? 52 on Chuck Rock? I don't know. Okay. NCAA 2K3. Whoa. What is that? Right the <laughs> sports game. Yeah. Did you know about this one? Uh, I've heard it about it, but. There's, there's only um, 5,000 made. Really? 
Allegedly. 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 So, and that's just for GameCube. They did release it on the other systems, PS2 and Xbox. Those are not worth anything. This is worth money because it's incredibly rare, especially in complete condition. I would guess 300 bucks. 316. 316. You have one of those in your collection. I do. It's a good one. Should I keep that one? I don't know. This is Rocky for GameCube. It appears to be it's sealed. It's it's I don't think it's actually sealed, but. Shin Megami Tensei, that's probably a good one. Atlas game for DS. The World Ends With You, Rocket Slime. So Dragon Quest games always for handheld are great. Animal Crossing can't go wrong. This is just a beautiful collection. <clears throat> Dream Chronicles. Rabbids. What's this? There you go. Final Fantasy three cartridge. What's in the box? What's in the box? Just some other random stuff. Randomness. Monkey Ball 2's in there. Smash Brawl. F-Zero GX for GameCube. Okay. You gotta love seeing GameCube. Animal Crossing. Some Pac-Man and others. Okay. That's everything. It looks like there's some shirts and stuff, which... I know we're not part of the original deal, so that's kind of exciting. Ooh, Fire Red. Fire Red. What is this? Uh, 30th Anniversary Mario Bros. pins. That's Ooh. super cool. A Fallout Guide. Oh, yes. We need this Pokemon. for a future series that we're starting on the main channel. It's going to be called Pokemon. <laughs> that is official. <laughs> you heard it here. Don't tell your friends. It's not out yet. It will be. That's very exciting. And then... You should just bleep that part out. It's going to be called... <laughs> an Xbox shirt. So this, looks, this looks like my size. It's a, it's a large. There you go. Absolutely so then, no, not. So <laughs> I, I, I cannot <laughs> accept this. No. Oh my gosh. What is this glory? Is this a, it's a children's shirt. But it's so awesome. That is but it's large weird. enough. Gosh, it's got to be like 50 <laughs> years old. Uh, it's old. <laughs> or is it made to look old? No, oh, that, that's definitely old. Oh, it's old. Yeah, it's 80s, I would say. That's awesome. Early 90s like at the, the latest. So what's up with this thing, then? Is that just always on there? Future shirt for Jackie Boy. Is it really just... Oh. Yeah, I can't quite make out what the tag says. We'll have to message him and see what... Uh, that's super cool. So that's a collection. Hopefully you learned some key titles to look for on a lot of different systems and maybe some uh, sourcing strategy talk. Let us know what level of sourcing you're at. Until next time, Bartle do.